In this video, we're going to prove that the complex exponential function is entire. That basically means it's analytic on the entire complex plane, and that means that it's differentiable at every single point in the complex plane. So to do that, we're going to first rewrite f of z, and then we're going to show uh, that the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold, and that the first partial derivatives of the real and imaginary parts of f are continuous, therefore proving it's entire. So the goal is we're going to show that del u del x is equal to del v del y, and that del u del y is equal to negative del v del x. So these equations here are called the Cauchy-Riemann equations. These are the CR Cauchy-Riemann equations. So if we show that this is true for every complex number, and if we show that these guys are continuous, which will be immediate, then it will follow that this function is entire. So first we have to rewrite our function. So note, we can rewrite f of z as follows. f of z is equal to e to the z. And z, we can write that as x plus i y. And using properties of exponents, we can write this as e to the x, e to the i y, where z is equal to x plus i y. So then we can rewrite it a little bit further. So then f of z, we said that's e to the x, e to the i y. We can use Euler's identity to write this as cosine y plus i sine y. And then distributing the e to the x, we end up with e to the x cosine y plus i e to the x sine y. So now we've written our complex valued function in a very, very nice way. This is going to be the real part. We're going to call this u. And this will be the imaginary part. We're going to call this v. So set u of x, y equal to e to the x cosine y and v of x, y equal to e to the x sine y. And now what we'll do is compute the first partial derivatives of u and v. So then let's look at del u del x. So del u del x, well, we're treating y as constant. So the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So e to the x cosine y. And then del u del y. This time we take, uh, we treat uh, x as constant. So e to the x is constant. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is negative e to the x sine y. Likewise, we'll compute del v del y. So here uh, we're treating e to the x as constant. So it's simply e to the x and the derivative of sine is cosine. And last but not least, we look at del v del x. And in this case, we treat sine y as constant. So this is simply e to the x sine y. So now we will check that the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold. So then for every complex number, so I won't write that, but for every single complex number, for every x, y, we have that del u del x. Well, that's exactly the same as del v del y. These are exactly the same. And we also have that del u del y is equal to negative del v del x. Notice the only difference between these two is a negative sign. So this is negative del v del x. So these here are the Cauchy-Riemann equations. So the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold for every complex number. And it needs to be mentioned, del u del x, del u del y, del v del y, and del v del x, and that's a u, <laughs> are continuous everywhere in the complex plane. Or rather, uh, these are just continuous functions. Yeah, they're continuous everywhere. These func e to the x is continuous, cosine y is continuous. So when you multiply them, they are continuous everywhere in the complex plane. So thus, f of z is entire. So that's the proof that the complex exponential function is entire. You basically show that the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold and that all of these guys are continuous, which is obvious. So I hope this video helps.